I'm so happy you're watching this video because today we're talking about a really cool subject that everybody wants to know, nobody talks about, is who schedules the closing date on the sale of the house. You've been through the process, you prepared your house for sale, you marketed it, you had showings, you had offers, you accepted an offer, you went through the home inspection, and now you're wondering who's scheduling the closing date on a sale of the house, right? Well, it's not you, and that's what we're talking about right after this. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Sphere Popolevsky with Supreme Home Sales. As a Staten Island resident and a Staten Island realtor, I love helping you navigate the home selling process. Really, it starts from the time that the contract is fully executed. So let's get through the process to understand what happens and how the closing is being scheduled, and then I will tell you who schedules it. So the contract signed and the buyer has 45 days to provide you with the mortgage commitment. Once, Once the bank issues the mortgage commitment to the buyer, the buyer's attorney will then order a title search. Within the title search, they're looking for clear title. If there's any issues that come up on the title, you will have to correct and clear those items before the closing can even be scheduled. Once the title is cleared, we also have to get the bank to clear all additional conditions on when they issued the mortgage commitment. So once all that is cleared, done, issued, the magic word that everybody is waiting for is clear to close. And clear to close comes from the bank. At that point, we have several people that are involved in scheduling the closing. That would be the title closer, the bank attorney, the buyer's attorney, your attorney, the seller's attorney. Um, I haven't heard that anybody asked you when is the closing, right? Because that's how it works. They don't ask you. All four parties will collaborate between themselves and they will come down to a closing day where everybody's available to show up and then they will just let you know that you need to show up to your closing on such such date and time usually you get about three days to a week's notice for you to do that it's important to know that although you don't schedule the closing day there are some things within the contract that gives you an on or about date about the closing date it's not going to be specifically on that date, but they will try to come up with a date that's kind of close or roundabout that date. If you're interested in knowing the house selling process, I did a video about house closing process for sellers. You can watch that next. I'm talking about the process at the closing table and who gets paid and how the money is being distributed. So. Watch that next right there, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. See you Monday.